All right, guys, so we're gonna start with a quick warm up. We're gonna do about 30 seconds of each exercise before we get into the actual warm up. So let's get started with some high knees. Make sure you keep your core tight. You're focusing on bringing your knees up. If you need to use your hands as a guide, you can. Keep it up. Almost there. All right, and we're gonna go to heel to butt in three, two, one. Bring those legs back behind, heel to butt. Try to bring those heels all the way up if you can. Keep your core tight still. All right, after this, we're gonna do Opposite hand to opposite foot. Three, two, one. Switch it. Here. Keep that core tight. Pinwheel your arm all the way around. Warming up that shoulder joint. Breathe out when you touch your toe. Nice job, guys. Keep going. Next, we're gonna do some cherry pickers. Down on the ground. In three, two, one. Straighten out one leg, put a slight bend in the knee of the other leg. Feel like you're reaching towards the ground and come back up to the top. Nice job, guys, you got this. Keep it up. Breathe. After this, we're going into jumping jacks. Keep it going here. Three, two, one. Jumping jacks. All right, guys. You can do this. You do it.
three, two, one, rest. You got this, guys. Two down, six to go. <laughs> three, two, one, begin. Two, one, rest. Three, two, one, begin. Remember, keep that core tight. Try to keep your chest up as much as you can. Make sure that knee is in line with those toes and directly over the ankle. Two, one, rest. Ready? Halfway there. Let's go. Two, one, begin. Good job, guys. Almost done with the first exercise. And rest. Two more after this. Three, two, one. Let's go. tight. Check stuff. I know we're tired, but we're almost there. And rest. Last one. Three, two, one. Begin. Strong, core tight, chest up, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, guys. Now, we're gonna rest for about a minute and then we're gonna do the second exercise. All right, so exercise number two is burpees. When you go through our burpees, we have three options. Option number one, you just go down on your hands. So you're keeping your core tight, Put your hands out, pushing your feet back behind you, coming back up, jumping up overhead. Option number two, you're gonna step your feet out. So hands down, stepping your feet out one at a time, stepping your feet back in, and then standing back up. Option number three, you're gonna do chest to floor, or you're gonna do a push up. So same thing, hands down, you're jumping your feet out, you're bringing your chest all the way down to the floor, and coming back up, or you're doing a push-up, coming up, popping your feet in, and jumping up top. So you have those three different variations. You do whichever one works best for you. Remember, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. We're gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. 20 seconds on the clock. You do as many as you feel comfortable. Just make sure you keep your core tight, Keep your butt low if you can. And your back flat. Two, one, and rest. All right, second round. Three, two, one, begin. Remember, you have other variations. You can step your feet out, step your feet back in, and jump. Two, one, 
and rest. Third time, guys. Two, one, let's go. You guys got this, keep it up, core tight. Three, two, one, and rest. Almost there, guys. Two, one. Woo, rest. Almost there. Three more. You can do this. Two, one. Begin. Keep it up, guys. You got this. Let's go. Core tight, back flat, butt down. Rest. Two more. Two, one, begin. Remember, whatever variation works best for you, you just keep moving. Keep it up, you got this. Three. Two, one, and rest. Whew. Last one, guys. Let the heart come back down. Three, two, one. Oh, let's go. Finish strong. This is it. Last 10 seconds. Almost there, guys. Finish strong here. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, catch your breath. All right, next we're doing walkout push ups. So you're standing up tall, you're keeping your core tight, you're bending over like you're picking something up from the ground, and you're walking your hands out to your push up position. You can either do push up from regular position or you can go down on your knees. You push up, pop those toes back out, keeping your core tight. Walk your hands in with a slight bend in your knees and stand back up. Ready? Same thing, guys. Let's go. Walk out, core tight, push up, walk back in. Make sure your back's nice and flat. You pull that belly button into your spine. Two, one, and rest. Remember, these are my exercises. You do them as best as you can. So if you feel like you need to go down to your knees halfway through, you do it. Ready? Second round, let's go. Walk out, high plank, down to your knees. If you need to, pop back up and walk up. Keep that core tight, even when you're coming all the way back up to standing. Make sure you're breathing. Breathe when you push back up to the top because that's when it's the hardest. And rest. Whew. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Keep it up, guys. Core tight, back flat. 
can do this. Keep it up. Two, one, and rest. All right, three more. Three, two, one, let's go. Core tight. Remember, you can always drop down to your knees if you need to. Whatever works best for you. And rest. Two more. Two, one, let's go. Guys, we're almost there. Keep it up. Not that hard to come back down. And go. Keep the core tight. Almost there. Two, one, rest. Last time, guys. We got this. Three, two, one, let's go. Core tight, walk out, push up. Almost there, keep on breathing, you got this. Final seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, guys. Rest for one minute. Two more exercises to go. All right, next we're gonna do a bicycle crunch. So, keeping your core tight, you want your legs to almost start right over your hips. And the most important thing is you wanna try to bring your elbow to your knee, not your knee to your elbow. Here's if I bring my knee all the way into my chest, my upper core doesn't have a lot of room that it has to go. So by keeping your knee farther and bringing your Elbow up, it's gonna be more work on your core. Ready, set, let's go. 20 seconds, core tight, one elbow, 10 knee, and switch. You can go as fast or as slow as you want, but keeping the motion nice and controlled and slow is gonna put more tension on the core. Pull that belly button in, press your back into the ground. Two, and rest. Same thing, guys. Back flat, core nice and tight. Ready, set, let's go. Elbow to knee. Bring that elbow up to your knee. Make sure we're breathing out when we bring that elbow up. Keep that back pressed on the mat. And rest. We got this, guys. Nice job. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Breathe out. Breathe out. Keep it up. You got this. Back flat. Push it down on the mat. Pull that belly button in towards your spine. Pull that belly button in. Keep your back nice and flat. Get ready. Let's go. Keep it going. Bring that elbow up. Two, one, rest. We got this. It up. Two, one, let's go. Keep breathing. Bring that elbow up to your knee. Pull your butt button in. Two, 
one. Yes. We got this, guys. We're doing this together. We're almost there. Get ready. Belly nice and tight. Begin. Breathe out. Bring that elbow up to your knee. All right, our final exercise, guys, we're gonna do either body weight squats or squat jacks. So with our body weight squats, we're gonna be keeping our core nice and tight, sitting back, keeping our chest up, just like so. You can do your body weight squats like this. You can even add a weight, so you can hold one weight here in the middle and do the same thing. Keep your core nice and tight. If you want more of a cardio exercise, we can do squat jacks. So your legs are out like a jumping jack in between each squat. So we squat down, bring our legs in and out. Keeping our core tight, same thing. Just make sure when you're pushing back up, you're keeping your back flat and you're not pulling your back up. So I don't wanna see this coming with our butt up first. Keep our core tight, push through our legs. All right, we're gonna do our eight rounds. Last exercise, guys. You've been doing really good. Keep it up. Be good. So let's just start off first with some body weight squats. Remember, you do whatever variation works best for you. Try to maximize your 20 seconds, whatever you feel most comfortable with. Three, two, one, rest. This next one, I'm gonna do weighted. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Core nice and tight. Push through those legs, keep your chest up. Don't have your chest down here. You should be able to see yourself in a mirror. Rest. This next one, I'm gonna do squat jacks. Three, two, one, let's go. Core nice and tight. Lay it on my toes. Get that heart rate up just a little bit more. Keep it up, guys. Chest up. Core tight. Two, one, and rest. Back to just body weight squats. Three. Two, one, let's go. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Chest up, core tight, push through those legs. One, and rest. 
squat jacks. Three, two, one, begin. Almost there, guys. Keep it up. Stretch out your tricep. Same thing, 15 to 20 seconds, whatever feels most comfortable for you guys. This is just a quick pull down stretch. So if you have a little more time, I would definitely try to stretch a little bit more. As always, you can go through that exercise as many times as you feel comfortable. Last thing, let's stretch your chest. Lace your arms behind your back like so. Push your chest out, keeping your core tight. Peel your hands off your back. Okay, right, guys, roll the shoulders back. Roll that neck just a little bit. We are done for today's workout. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day.